Susie, only on two now, stopping street racers, a major crackdown on the dangerous practice across the San Fernando Valley. A team of undercover officers came together with a united goal. Get these dangerous drivers and their cars off the streets. CBS 2's Joy Benedict is live in Silmar now with video you'll see only on two. Joy. I mean, yeah, Juan, I mean, we hear it, right? You hear it all night long, any part of the city of Los Angeles, and you can also see it the morning after. It seems like this with the asphalt just simply shredded here on Polk and Glen Oaks and Selmar, but this is not a victimless crime, right? It was just a few days ago when a car flew through this intersection and into this local restaurant, destroying the front facade, and investigators and police want to do something to turn these engines off. It's the thrill of the race and then the chase that's setting fire to L.A. city streets as drivers do donuts and modified cars burn rubber, tearing up the roadways all over Southern California. But everything goes today. But Sunday, the LAPD Valley Traffic Division set up a sting with the CHP to stop street racers in their tracks. That car is now yours. We are impounding those cars. With 54 officers ready, they gathered for a briefing, then hit the roads all over the valley. We want to... You know, solve the problem, and the only way to solve it is by arresting these guys, you know, hitting them where it counts, and that's where it costs them money. Sergeant Jody McGee led the operation. He says it's never hard to see where the racers had been, but catching them in the act is what isn't always easy. The undercovers in the, uh, in the area, they keep us posted on what's going on. Uh, if they leave, then they'll follow them. By 8 p.m., word spread on social media of a group gathering in Silmar. So officers met up nearby and waited for word of where the race was. Sheldon and Glenda uh, racing vehicles in the area. And then came the chase. A cat and mouse game to find the race, but the group got on the freeway and gave the undercover officers the shake. Yeah, 101, 134. They're stuck in traffic with the, uh, with the racers. A few minutes later, they were spotted, and officers swooped in to stop the cars. You have your license, sir? They put it out there? More than a dozen vehicles were rounded up in Shadow Hills, drivers detained. They got blocked out, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to watch the races, you know? No one wanted to admit why they were there, as being a spectator can get you a citation. The problem is we didn't, none of us saw it. And since the officers missed the event, everyone here got a warning. As the undercover officers were trying to keep track of the cars doing the actual racing. Anybody stop a red Camaro? This video on social media shows the Camaro in question, and it's now evidence in the case. They were just hauling butt. Luckily, I think we have the red Camaro stopped. So that's where we're heading. The driver was stopped 11 miles away and arrested. And the only place this car is going now is the impound lot. So it'll be impound for 30 days. Yes, sir. We take this stuff very serious. In all, this sting brought in 84 citations, four impounds and two arrests. The driver of the Camaro was booked and released, but his car is off the street. Our job is to keep the public safe, and this is what we try and do. And although officers only stopped one race event, they likely prevented dozens more, because after word spread of the task force, the roar of the engine silenced, at least for one night. We're not out here to pick on them. So right now, the fines and the penalties for this type of activity is a misdemeanor. Um, the fines are where they try to make their most impact. But the Los Angeles Police Department and many folks within the city would like to see those fines increase to try to deter this activity even further and possibly institute some sort of mandatory community service if you're convicted of doing some of this street racing. I'll send it back to you guys. All right, Joy, thank you very much.